Uh, yeah, I'm not actually bound by the gag order because of how I Meet get my Justin. information through He's someone trans? that I know that okay. I've personally worked with. And um, so I'm I'm free to talk as much as I want. Okay. Um. On Monday morning, I would wake up to lots of emails and direct messages saying, Lana, you need to check out this video. Have you seen this? Have you seen this? On Monday of last week, Dylan Mortensen was attacked by three men. These three men, plus an additional man, are the killers who are inside the 1122 Keene house on the night of November 13th. Now, I want to name their names, but I probably shouldn't. I watched the infamous video by a guy named Justin on YouTube. Funny that a guy named Justin was someone I was looking into as it pertained to this case. Not realizing that this person who put out the Monday video would in fact be the same Justin that I was researching based on information that I had a friend go and get for me. On Monday night, I was set to go live with the Moscow murders part six. However, I postponed going live with my video drop due to a couple things I wanted to touch base on um, and this video being one of the things. I also wanted to talk about Mr. Tyler's death being announced a suicide. Well, the family of a 19-year-old WSU student has released a statement after his cause of death was reported just a few hours ago today. The Whitman County Medical Examiner has now ruled that freshman Luke Tyler died by suicide. He was found dead inside a dorm last month. That I'm starting a new thread and come join me live as I am postponing the Moscow 5, or I'm sorry, 6 episode. So people come over and join me. And this is what I show. Due to the extra ridiculous, unconstitutional, as hell gag order, Dylan cannot talk and tell her story. But I can. I am working for the defense off the books, and I am not subject to the gag order. Any intel fed to me is through a means of communication that does not break the gag order. That information from my informant gives me legal grounds to speak on this topic and to tell Dylan's story for her. The reason Dylan was attacked is because, yes, is trans. Dylan is trans. I, 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 I'm gonna refrain for a minute. I'm gonna refrain, refrain for a minute, and then I'm gonna let this be heard. You're right. You heard right. right. trance. Dylan is I know trans. this to be a fact. I know this to be a fact. What? Okay. Let's get this mother crook. What? Okay. Let's get this mother crook! Because the hormone therapy caused these other problems. And, um... You know, her kidney is at 50% functionality because of the diabetes by itself. What? And okay. you know, she has to be on dialysis because of that. And right now, last I was told, she is still potentially waiting for a transplant. Potentially. We don't really know yet. Um, but I originally, the night of November 13th, Dylan's life was spared because she was a loyal friend to Bethany Funky. And what? Okay! Dylan had life-changing surgery on January 27th of this year. Long story short, I interviewed Justin last night on my channel. I mean, I couldn't let Ashley Banfield get every interview. 
Yeah, um, so um, Fry has property in Park Forest, Sauk Village, and Peoria. So he's got three different properties here. Okay. And um, I could put Brent Kapaka in um, a bunch of different spots in Chicago as well as Cleary. Yeah, Claire Sr. is completely and totally involved in all this bullshit. But uh, Brent is completely innocent. He had nothing to do with any of it. Video, I don't know. and You guys, I don't know. I, I, I scratched my head thinking who could possibly come out and say this stuff and families and, and people not go crazy. Um, when Pete Buttigieg started running for president, I worked on his campaign with him. Okay. And I was helping him write trans healthcare policy that would be better than what exists now, because there are things. So all your information is um, is coming from your source? Yeah, all of my information comes directly from my source, who I know in person from working with him on Pete's campaign. Okay. And any of this? Uh, I don't even know who Anne is. Well, Brian's attorney. Oh, I've emailed her a couple times, but um, her response to me. Something. Maddie and Hannah lived together their freshman year in the dorms. Can you prove that? Sophomore year. That I don't have proof of, at least not right now. But sophomore year, Hannah moved out and she moved into her apartment on Baker Street. Her first roommate was... Was she ever interviewed by the police? They ever... She's been, she's been trying to get Hannah's file from them since Hannah died. They won't hand it over. Isn't it a closed case? Yeah, yeah, it is. So what's the whole... Why can't she get it? Um, so she was promised the file three separate times. Every time that she asked for it, they wouldn't give it to her. And she hasn't known why. Because mm -hmm. her dad also tried to get it, and they wouldn't give it to her dad. So some of my friends and I, we put in... Because, like I said, like, I mean, I'm not one to say that someone's lying or they're this or they're that. Um, I kind of just was like, okay, well, how is this still on the internet? If it is all not true, um, law enforcement should be able to get this taken down. Um, the families, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like if I were lying, somebody would have taken it down by now. That's what I, that's what I was saying to myself. And, and, when, fact, I saw, and when I saw this, like about, and I was like, okay, well, somebody could be acting like you. And the only way that I could do that is by flushing it out. So I went ahead and that's why I put this up here saying that, all right, well, maybe Justin will see this because sometimes you don't even know when people are doing stuff to you. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, if you just look at the, um, that chef dizzy Twitter that popped up recently. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All he's doing is attacking me and he's saying all these lies that just aren't even true. Is it, do you believe that that's harsh? Isn't that who chef dizzy is? It's not Anon, because Anon is in PC. He is in PC. Yeah. Yes, I knew it. I didn't really know that. Sometimes you just got to make somebody feel good about themselves. Um, but you're buying in. So they keep telling. Really? Yeah. So, so how upset were they when I released the body cam footage of everything? I don't know. No one talked to me about that. Because I know that you know that they had that for like a month, like news outlets, like mainstream media. Oh, yeah. Um, that body cam footage, from what I can tell, it's not even really relevant. 
It's interesting with the, uh, well, a couple of things to me were interesting. Um, the amount of people that were responding for certain things for a noise complaint. Why are there all those officers? Number one, number two, when you have a ride along, they're not supposed to be all up in that like that. Yeah, basically those videos are just giving you the proof of the sketchy stuff that's been going on. At the house, yes. Yeah, yeah. The revolving so door. Yeah, the revolving door of the plug house. Yeah. Um, so who helped Payne write that PCA? Because it wasn't just him. That I don't know, but I know it was intentionally written the way it was. You could tell that. Yeah, it was intentionally written that way to get BK off. And you stay there until I tell you to come out. Shake hands, let's have a good fight. All right, it's time it was intentionally written that way to get BK off. Get your hands up, man. Yeah. You need an interpreter? It's time to go to school. So basically, it was intentionally written that way to be beatable. Yep. Um, again, is this your speculation or is this? That's coming from my source. So, um, what's, uh, has there been any talk about, I told Adam everything. We still don't know what that is about because we don't know where Adam is and Adam isn't talking. And anyone else who knew, unless Dylan and Bethany knew, everybody else who knew what happened is dead. Um, why did um, Harsh do that interview with that lady? I think it was just for clout, honestly. Well, because I mean, he, he I caught him lying a couple different times. Yeah, I I think it's really just I kind of think he likes the attention. That's how it felt to me. It was kind of like an attention grabbing sort of thing because everybody was so obsessed with him and his car. His car? Yeah. What what about his car? He has a little white sedan. That looks like a Elantra? Yeah. Suspect vehicle one? Yep. I can't even keep track of how many vehicles are involved in this right now. There's so many vehicles. Like, what kind of protection can you get in these cases? Like, you can lock your windows, um, you can, like, you know, put strips and stuff, you can get a gun, but, like, this dude, like, went in the house and killed them before they could really react. They so what do you think about, um... And left, and not anybody knowing. Like, shoot Paul. That's, that's scary. Yeah, so the Shoop family are pretty fucking scary. Truth and Transparency believes that Dylan Mortensen was born a beautiful female and still is a beautiful female who is also innocent in all of this until proven otherwise in a courtroom. Stay tuned for Justin, part two.